Big smiles, everyone. These are the new students for NSI's New Voices. And already, the goal is clear. To put bluntly, a job in the industry. How are you guys? Congrats. Are you guys excited? It's a very collaborative element I find here, even with my former, my fellow classmates. It reminds me of that old adage of the story of Stone Soup. Everyone else contributes something unique and original to the pot and makes something stronger than the sum of its parts. And that's very appealing to me. Oh, and um, don't mind the smell. I think someone crawled underneath my house and died. NSI New Voices is a training program for emerging Aboriginal filmmakers. So it's for young people ages 18 to 35. And for the next 14 weeks, they embark on a course of getting training and, uh, and mentorship in film, TV, and media. Well, currently I'm writing my own feature film. Um, it's based on um, the missing and murdered Indigenous women. You know, we have to tell our stories and our stories have to get out there. And the only the way that we're going to do that is if we tell our stories. Hi, I'm Brad. I know. We went to school together. Really? I don't remember you. Were we friends? One thought that really stands out at the moment is something dealing with our um, problems facing our brethren and sistren who have slipped through the cracks of the system and who are in need of assistance. And, you know, this is very much an industry that the eyes are on you. It's very hard to hide in the spotlight. And to expose something like this and to promote a solution to this is something very appealing to me. So we bring in a lot of uh, mentors, um, people with huge connections in the industry, and they get to have one-on-ones with these people. And um, ultimately, later in the course, they end up pitching them their stories um, in order to get made into short films. This is the 12th year for New Voices and it's NSI's most popular and successful program to date. Janelle Gosfeld has left family and friends in Thompson, Manitoba to pursue her dream of producing and sharing stories from the North. Last year, the program celebrated their 100th graduate and by the end of July 2016, there will be 109, including Janelle. Coming from a small community and being able to take some of that back, hopefully that I can take some of that back so other people can learn or be able to come here and be like, okay, see, I can do this. If she can do it, then I can do it, you know. For more on the New Voices program, you can go to nsi-canada.ca. For Go, I'm Tracy Koga.